Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Best Roblox Games. In this video, I want to show you a game called Scuba Diving at Quill Lake. This is an adventure game where basically you want to explore this pretty strange lake, and there's all kinds of stuff hidden in the lake. There are secret passages that take you to areas on the land that you can't get to otherwise. There's all kinds of quests and there are even dungeons, kind of like dungeons, where you have to go through a specific area of the map. It's a really fun game and if you like games like Zelda, I think you'll like this a lot. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and if you'd like to see the other videos in this series, I'll put a link to them down in the description. Okay, here's what the world looks like. Basically, when you start out, here's the lake. They have a scuba shop over here, and this is where you can buy gear that will help you to explore deeper into the lake. Some parts of the lake are very deep, and then some are shallow. Um, when you're in the lake, you'll find all kinds of artifacts. The artifacts you can sell over here at this pawn shop, and that will give you money and you can use that money to go back to the scuba shop and buy stuff. They also have where you can rent boats and the boats just basically help you to get around the lake quicker. But let's go over here to this girl. Please can you help me? You're a diver, right? I lost something in the lake. Yes, I can help. I was swimming here recently and I realized I dropped my Celtic necklace in the muddy area behind me. Can you find it for me? Yes, we can. Thank you. It's a family heirloom. It's been passed by my family for generations. It means a lot to me. Okay, so this girl just gave us our first quest. And basically she wants us to find a necklace and bring it back to her. And I think if we do, then she'll give us something. But basically, yeah, the lake's decently big. So let's just start swimming. I think starting out, we need some money. These are gold coins. You can use these to buy stuff at the shop. Look, they even have, like, fish. So in the beginning of the game, let's see, let's look over here. Here's a treasure chest. We can't open that, though. I think you need keys to be able to open those. Right now, we can't swim very deep, so I'm just trying to go around and find some stuff that we can sell. Okay, we just found some webbed headphones. And I don't think the crabs will... Oh, and I forgot. There's an... You have to keep track of how much air you're using. If you look down at the bottom, in the middle, it shows how much air you have left. And if you run out of air, then it starts killing you. And if you completely die, then I think you lose like 30% of your coins. So you don't want to die. Yeah, this is the shallow part of the lake, so this is pretty easy. But the majority of the game is not just going around and getting coins and stuff. The real game starts once you have really good gear and you can explore really deep into the lake. Okay, we're getting to a part that's a little bit deeper now. But yeah, there's a lot to this game. Um, it takes, I'd say, a day or so of playing a lot to be able to beat it. It's not just a simple game. And some of the quests are pretty challenging to complete. From what I remember. Yeah, they even have, uh, like, sunken pirate ships. And you have to explore the ship. Okay, we're over on the right part of the lake right now. And like I said, some parts of the land... Um, you can't even get to unless you can find an underwater tunnel. Yeah, look over here. We found a cave. Flashlight recommended for this area. Okay, so we'll probably... Yeah, we'll come back here once we have a flashlight. Yeah, it's starting to get pretty deep here. Yeah, I really want to be able to swim deeper because it's annoying coming up for air all the time. You can even get scuba diving gear that will let you, it will basically give you air. 
Okay, we found some binoculars. I think we can sell those. But the scuba diving gear, it will give you air, and then you can go very deep. And I think these red coins give you three regular coins. And what is this? Okay, we just got a crown. I'm not sure what this is. Okay, I think we should go back closer to the land. I think this part over here we're not supposed to be at yet. And there's only a certain amount of artifacts or items that are hidden in the lake. And once you find them all, you all actually complete another quest. So they're not just randomly placed. I think that there's a certain number of them. Okay, our inventory's full now. So we can't pick that up yet until we go sell some stuff. So let's go back to the pawn shop and let's sell some stuff. Okay, the pawn shop's over here. Sell artifacts. Okay, we found three things and we found some coins. So if we sell all this, we'll get $58. Let's go ahead and sell that. You can also buy some stuff from him. So let me open the shop here. Like, he basically sells ways to get around the lake fast. Like, you can teleport to certain areas of the lake. You can also buy treasure chest keys from him. And you can use these to open up the chest that we found earlier. You can also upgrade your backpack so that you can carry more items. Like, right now, we can only carry three items. So, if we buy this, we'll be able to carry six. That's good to get. Okay, now I'm going to go to the scuba gear shop. I'm going to show you all the items you can buy. Okay, what I'd like to get first is the free dive training. That will allow us to hold our breath twice as long, so to, we don't have to come up for air as often. That helps a lot. Okay, we don't have enough money for this, but there's also scuba gear. Um, it gives you a mask and an air tank, and then you don't have to come up for air that much at all. They also have an advanced suit, which lets you be able to swim faster. You can get a flashlight, which will let you go into caves and other dark areas. They also have a geolocator. It's kind of like GPS. It shows the coordinates for where you currently are on the map. And for some of the quests, that will help you. It's easy to get lost, too, so this can help you if you're getting lost. They also have a life jacket. If you use the life jacket, it will let you get back to the top so you can get air really fast. If you're about to die, that can come in handy. And they also have a weight. This will let you sink to the bottom very fast. This can save you a lot of time. Um, so right now we have 8 cash, so we really need more money to buy the rest of the stuff. So let's go around, let's explore the lake a little bit. Um, now that we can dive deeper, I think it will be a little bit easier. Let's kind of look around. There's this big rock in the middle that kind of looks suspicious. Um... We already went to the area over there on the right. Let's just look around a little bit. Okay, I think over here... Oh, and look, there's like a... You see that black thing in the water that's sticking out? I think that's like a huge scuba diver. Let's check that out. I forget if there's anything important over here. And like I said earlier, the game is not just about going around getting coins and artifacts. There's a lot more to it. We're just in the basic part of the game, so it's pretty simple right now. Okay, this area is more advanced because we're starting to get deeper. But let's just see what there is over here. Okay, here's a treasure chest. I can't open it because it's locked right now. Yeah, this area is really, really deep. You see how murky it looks? The scuba gear is recommended for this area. Yeah, so probably we're not ready to do this yet. We'll need an air tank. But we can explore it for just a few minutes. Look, there's even sharks. And I think they can actually kill you. So don't get too close to the sharks. There's something over here. You see that green thing? And there's an old ship, SS Achilles. 
The hazmat suit is required for this area. Yeah, there's something radioactive down there that's actually starting to kill us when I got close to it. So they've got different suits. Um, like that one, they said you need the hazmat suit. So that, that will protect you when you're near areas of radiation. They even have other suits, like a suit that will let you be able to go into hot areas. And over there, back at the back, I don't know if you can see it, it looks like there's some ice. And when you're starting out the game, you probably shouldn't be exploring this er these areas. You should just be collecting money so you can buy better gear. But I'm trying to show you all the other areas. Okay, here we got a waterfall, and there's something up there. It looks like we can possibly get up there. Alright, I just wanted to pretty much give you a basic overview of the game. I didn't want to give away too much stuff, but it's really fun. You, if you like exploring, I really think you'll like this game. Anyways, definitely check it out. I'll put a link to this game down in the description if you want to check it out. Alright guys, see you in the next video.